Hello, welcome back to Serious About Salvage, another video on the channel. Today is another new car day, and today is the day to show you the second of the Ford EcoSports, the blue ones that I bought. Uh, this is obviously the newer facelift ST line, very nice car, I wanted to try and get an ST line for a while. Uh, I do like these Ford, Ford EcoSports, sorry I've got an itchy nose, oh, to apologise. Cracking cars they are, honestly. Really nice. Uh, there it is. Beautiful lightning blue. Great spec. Um, oh, it's got the optional nicer, bigger alloys. Tech pack, comfort pack. It's a cracking car. Mm. Let's turn around, have a look. So there she is. 68 plate, 2018. Ford EcoSport ST line. It is the EcoBoost, so your one litre three cylinder uh, turbo. And we are looking at the damage. So it's just took a bit of a glance on this side, caught the wheel, pushed the wheel back. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's everything. There's a little bit going on inside. We'll get to that. I mean, there's no airbag. Well, yeah, I'm lying actually, there's an airbag, but the dashboard's good, which is the main thing. Um, and critically, this bonnet. No damage to the bonnet. It's touching it there a bit, but there's actually no damage to it. It's unfortunate that we've got a crack. Well, we've got a bit of lens missing um, because the headlight, again, it's not loose. So that's a shame, but I've got a solution for that. Obviously the wing has took the majority of the hit, uh, along with the wheel. The tyre's got a slash in it, I think. Um, I'm kind of hoping this wheel's all right, because I like them. And it's not got any curb marks, I don't think. Um, obviously, yeah, it's pushed back. We've got suspension issues. Bumper's done for. This lens looks to be relatively okay i don't know i have to look at the back of it but no front on damage so we've got coolant we've got aircon do you know there's no issues there um and then down this side uh all good this is what it should look like so yeah nice nice car it's a lovely like i said lightning blue very nice so the the optional extra wheels uh that comes with the is it the tech pack or the comfort pack? It's one or the other, but they're not the normal wheels that the ST line comes on. They're the optional extra. Are they 18s? Um, they are 18s, the 18s? Yeah, the R18s, yeah. Inside, we've got lovely half. Uh, I don't know if it's suede or if it's Alcantara. It's one or the other. It smells it smells great in here. In fairness, it does smell great in here. All your normal, well, your upgraded facelift interior, touchscreen, 24,759 miles, six speed. It's a, it's a nice car. I do like these. That's four badges just come on screen. Um, yeah, very nice. Two keys this came with as well. It's all keyless, obviously. I mean, I like, I like it with a two, you know, with a, Wrapped. Which way around have they done this? I don't know. Is it wrapped to the roof? The two tone anyway. I like the two tone. Around the rear, obviously with your ST line, you get all your colour coding. You get a nice black diffuser. Uh, they look a bit more sporty, don't they? Again, you've got your barn door, but critically, no spare wheel on the back. I much prefer them like this. Uh, a few bits and pieces in the back. I have to watch this door, is it? That's fine. I'm glad this is here. I mean, although we're probably going to have it painted, um, that's good to have. And also this bit of trim as well we need. So that's good. It does, does look on. It looks undamaged. Broken splash guards. A few other bits and pieces in here. Um, what was under here? I don't know. I'll have to look at it at some point. One strange thing I'm seeing on this car is cards have been pulled back in the back. This is a weird one, but also if you have a look in the front, 
we open this door. See the wiring loom exposed? Should be a plastic trim on there. And it's the same on the other side, they've removed the other side as well. With them not being with the car, I suspect this is possibly a car that's been stolen and um, they've been looking for a tracker, maybe. Something like that. I'd a guess. I mean, I might be completely wrong there, but I can't think of any reason, other reason why everything's pulled back like that. Uh, shall I try? I'll try to squeeze in it. Um, it's a bit tight on the ramp. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get in there. I'll give it a go. <clears throat> Can I get in? Uh, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, they're, they're, they're much nicer, these. Um, facelift interiors, but obviously the price reflects it, they're a lot more expensive. The the pre-facelift cars are a great value. But these are that bit, they're, they are nicer. Obviously all your auto lights, crews, sat nav, everything, everything. Um, so in terms of interior, we do have a blown curtain airbag on the driver's side. And we also have a blown seat bag on the driver's side. Um, I'm probably going to go down the lines of replacing it and having a professional um, seat repair company to restitch that, I think. I've not completely um, decided. But also another thing, it's got the optional Bang and Olsen sound you know, speakers and stereo system. So I think that's with the com comfort pack, is it? I'm not, I can't remember now. Uh, and lastly, we've got two born front seat belts. Uh, but like I said, the critical part is the dashboard, steering wheel airbag, they're all good. Because a dashboard kit for these is um, north of a thousand pound. Yeah, it's quite pricey facelift stuff um right it starts clutch down press pedal sounds perfectly fine obviously we've got zero fuel um tire pressure's zero driver's front uh airbag light traction control light low tire back light and no fuel yeah um, but everything works, everything's good in here, heated seats, it's just an all round nice car, nice car. Let's get back outside I think. I'm out. Nice DRLs again. Uh, anyway, right, we do have a lot of parts for this car already. What I did when it turned up, I just went over the whole thing quickly ordered everything up um so we can be cracking on with this car basically so i mean the main plan for today is to sort the suspension damage out get it on the floor make sure it moves that is what i want to try to do um i don't know if that's gonna happen but we'll try but i do have various other parts ready for the car for when i get round to actually doing more things we've got a driver's wing we have a passenger wing over there, and I'll show you why in a moment. We have a new control arm. I've got a uh, sorry bumper to bracket, uh, bumper to wing bracket for this side. Curtain airbag, inner tie rod, trap red end, a pair of front seat belts and a driver's headlight. This driver's headlight was cheap because all the brackets are broke. I only wanted it for the lens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this lens. I'm going to put it onto this headlight because there's no broken tabs in the back of this headlight. It's perfect. That will, that will solve our issue there. Uh, and we have a bumper skin there because uh, we have 
everything for the bumper. Um, I'm pretty sure. After a check up on that completely. So yeah, I mean, also we've got um, a hub in this box. The one thing that hasn't turned up is the strut. Uh, I'm not convinced this strut is damaged. I do change them anyway, if there's any suspension damage, but what I'm kind of hoping is that it can stay on for time being, because it's not due for another week. I didn't notice the delivery estimate. It's not due for another week, so if I can get all the other parts on, leave this strut in place, I can, I can swap the strut over afterwards. Uh, it's not going to be a big deal. It's just getting this wheel roughly in the right place uh, that it'll move. Even with a flat tire, it'll move then. Get it off the ramp, I can use the ramp for other jobs. That's the plan. Um, so I think we're, that's what we're going to do. We'll get it up in the air, wheel off. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to bother pulling the wing number bumper off right now. I think we'll just go ahead and do the suspension. Uh, it's just two more items to clog up my workspace until I get round to actually putting the new wing and you know bumper skin and stuff on. Um, it's better just being done in the same day. And I don't want to have time for that today, I don't think. So yeah, let's get it up in the air, wheel off. We'll have another look then. What's going on in there, suspension damage wise. And hopefully we can get it together to a point where it moves today and get it off this ramp. Yeah, I've got the wheel off, but just before I do show you in there, the reason for the other passenger side replacement wing. Now this wing has had some work done to it. It's obviously had a scrape um, and they've just not got the body lines back. It's so rounded there where on the other side and then that wing, it's quite a sharp body line. And also the filler work is just atrocious really. It's just, it's very hard for me to catch it on camera for you, but underneath the paint, the filler work, it's just not very good. That, it just, it stands out a mile. It's horrible. It's not, not a nice wing, so I'm replacing that because it's, it spoils the rest of the car. It, it's, it, it's the only place I've checked all the way down. There's no filler work down there. It's just this wing. They've had a scrape on it, obviously. Um, it, it's just, it's just horrible. It's just... It ruins it, so we'll change it anyway. Let's get a camera. I'm walking through cobwebs today as well. Let's have a look. Um, so, we have a snapped inner tie rod. We've got a new one for that. We've got a new, a new uh, track rod end. Um, I've already mentioned about the strut. In, in all fairness, it looks completely strange, but straight. But like I said, we will change it at a later date when it turns up. Um, lower control arm is, is the main issue. It's really badly bent. Uh, and also, obviously, we don't know about this hub, but I've got a hub for it, so we'll swap that over. Dry shaft's still in, nothing's split. It has rubbed up again to the um, subframe a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. But in terms of you know, the body, Nothing on the crash bar. You can see this end of it. And there's nothing. Call that crash bar. Chassis leg perfectly fine all the way across. I've got no issues um, in a wing. You can see it there. It's all straight, all nice. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing really to uh, tell you about. It's it's good. It's good. You can see the intercooler in there. Um, happy. Happy. Right, control arm, two bolts, well three bolts, so if you've got one there, you've got one up there, I don't know what they are, 18s, 19s, something like that, you have a pinch bolt through the bottom of your hub, uh, that'll get your control arm off. We're going to have to take the nut out at the end of the drive shaft, obviously take the disc off, the caliper, the carrier. Um, because obviously we're changing this hub, aren't we? So, uh, it's warm today. Ooh. All good. Shall we? Let's get on with it. Let's get it off.
Look at that, it strips down. Uh, good news and bad news. I mean, on the face of it, this strut doesn't look bent. I mean, there's a hell of a good chance that the, the piston is up at the top. Uh, so it's getting changed regardless. Uh, on the bad news is we have a bent drive shaft, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I was just looking at it before and it just, there's a bit of a bend somewhere around here. Now, the easiest way to tell is, obviously it's sat on a piece of metal there. If I spin this shaft, you're going to see this end going like that, up and down and around in a circle. I, I don't know, if, I'll tell you what, I'll put you on a stand. Because otherwise my arm's going to be moving. Just see if you can see it. See it? Oh, that didn't quite go to one. Right back up there. I mean, obviously you've got the the um, CV joint, but I'm just turning it straight round there. And, it, and you can see it going round in a circle. The shaft is bent, unfortunately. Not to worry. So uh, we are now stuck. I'm not fitting it with that shaft because you've got to take the hub off and all sorts to get the shaft so I'm not there's no point doing it twice let's take a two to three days unfortunately I'll have to sit on the ramp a couple more days we'll have to work on on in the front another car for the rest of the week um, it is what it is but by that time the strut will be here as well so we can straight we can swap the strut and the, and the drive shaft and we won't have to go back into this corner uh, unfortunate, you know, 130 quid the drive shaft, two to four days, I mean it's, it's Monday so yeah, it said Wednesday or Thursday delivery so I'm happy with that. Um, so we could, we can now swap the inner tie rod and put track red end on the end and we can fit the new control arm ready uh, in preparation. So we're, we're that bit closer. Um, when the shaft and the strut turns up so I think we'll do that and then we're going to have to call it a day unfortunately that's the way the cookie crumbles I'm about worked up here now. Control arm is on. Inner tie rod's in. And now if you look, obviously that's where the hub's gonna sit onto. And if it went it straight up, you'd say that is now pushed back a bit, wouldn't you? That strut, so it does appear that the top of the piston is bent, I think. Um, so it's a good job we've got one of them coming. And also, if you look at the hub, I mean, it only looks like a little bit, but it looks to me like the top again is bent over to that side a bit, which would have mean the wheel pushed back. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to tell on that really, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, so, yeah, we're stuck now for the hub. I mean, no, sorry, we got a hub, but we need the drive shaft and the strut to turn up. Um, so I am going to end this video now. We'll, uh, we'll start another one, finish off the suspension, get it moved, and then we'll make a start on removing um, all the damaged parts in that video as well, and do it that way. 
I don't like uh, ending and trying to continue a video like two or three days later. It gets complicated, so we'll, uh, there's enough now. We'll, we'll end it here. Had a good look around it. We know exactly what's up with it. Um, get them two parts, and the rest of it, it'll go straight forward pretty much. The only thing I've not, like I said, I haven't organised yet is that seat airbag situation. I need to decide what to do, whether to get a seat or to get that sent off. It's all down to cost at the end of the day. I mean, a seat airbag's, what, 40, 50 quid. The last time I had a seat repaired like that, it was well over 100 pound. And I mean, you can get a seat for 200. So I don't know, I'll decide what to do. Just before we do finish, going back to the wheel, the wheel does look to be fine. What's happened is the impact has blown out the valve, completely blown it out. And obviously all the air's come out of there. So I mean, there's nothing on the outside. There is a bit of curbing on it. Nothing on the outside. And if you look inside it, the rim is perfect. There's no like blowouts, no damage. Um, yeah, I think that wheel's going to be fine. I will get it over onto a balancing machine because we do need to sit, I'll have to take the tire off to put a valve in it. So I'll put it on the balancing machine, make sure it spins true and it's not buckled. Um, but I think wheel should be good. Uh, so all in all, happy. I like this one, I do. So yeah, that is it for this video. Um, hasn't gone to plan completely, but it doesn't always do. These things happen. We'll, uh, we'll make up for it in the next video. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.